Tempo. Capricorn. Hello, it's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your reading for what Spirit wants you to know for April. Let's find out what's coming in for you guys for April. April for my Capricorn friends. The Spiral Dancer. Circuitous Root Perception. So, understanding that time is not linear. Let's read this. It comes as an ally, which is very nice. The spiral dancer moves with her own rhythm and steps to music only she can hear. She takes you on a path that is winding and circular. She assures you that what you are experiencing as a setback is really part of an upward spiral. Perception is everything. You're not retracing your steps or going backwards, but rather around and up. She says that you can be comforted knowing that your path is one of success, adventure, and experience. Follow her, for she dances along a magical way. If you're asking about a relationship, keep on dancing and magic will soon happen. Also, it's okay to allow someone else to take the lead at this time. Make sure to let others know that you're open. Always remember that relationships are mirrors and will show you the past, the present, and potential future. All relationships have a destiny. Each is a sacred teacher with valuable lessons to share, even if it appears that the two of you are dancing in different directions. All the steps are perfect, even when you may seem to be stumbling. The spiral dancer is a reminder that destiny's true path is seldom straight. The divine has you on a spiral of destiny at the moment, and it seems to me that you're coming into conjunction with something. Even if you feel like you're moving away, it's like you're coming into conjunction with something, but it's like you're not seeing it. What's this about? One more message, please. Well, we'll get another yet yeah, too, but the spiral dancer. Hmm, very intriguing, my Capricorn friends. We have bearing fruit. Do you see what I'm saying? Something you don't see coming. You are coming into... In that circuitous route, you are coming into contact with something that is going to bear fruit. Card number 12. If your life were a tree, what fruit would it bear? Envision the results of your efforts you put into achieving your dreams and desires in partnership with the divine. Can you see the way you think, feel, and believe reflected in the material world? There is always a correlation between what you see, what you expect to see, what you intend consciously, and what you project unconsciously. Everything is intrinsically connected. Magic flows through you from the unseen world into the world you perceive. Moving from the realm of non-ordinary reality to ordinary reality. Your birth, you birth ideas and thoughts into form and bring your most cherished desires to fruition. Not all ideas will bear fruit. Sometimes you will reap a sour, a bitter harvest based on your sense of your personal narrative and your assumptions about others. You are in a powerful and fertile season of your life when you're particularly good at making things happen with very little effort. Pay close attention to what you're manifesting now, from your career to your personal relationships. Your influence is strong at this time. If you don't like what your life is yielding, prune the proverbial tree and get into alignment with what genuinely lights you up. Remember, your birth into the world, that which you pay most attention to and consistently hold within as your truth. Be clear about what you intend. Can you make this commitment? So you see, there's something you're coming around to here. It's about making a commitment to bear fruit. I wonder if it's perhaps in a different way. Remember your birth into the world, that which you pay most attention to and consistently hold within as your truth. Hmm. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. No wonder I needed to read it again. Remember, you birth into the world that which you pay most attention to and consistently hold within as your truth. Be clear about what you intend. 
can you make this commitment? So what is it that you want to set your intention toward is what you are going to bring about for yourself. So be clear about it. Bearing fruit at times, like it says, can be something that is sour. Perhaps that's why you feel you're not on the right path if not enough sweet fruit has come your way or you have not barren enough of sweet fruit. I wonder if that's kind of like sometimes people go on a sugar diet. No sugar for me, not even in the sweet fruit. <laughs> wow, it's going to take courage. Look at that. There's something coming up that's going to take courage, a step, a something. The divine is going to require courage of you. Let's find out what this is about. Let's read that card. Because with this whole um, selection, especially with the spiral dancer, this is very interesting to me. The waves crash again and again on the rugged rocky shore, and yet the, ancients rock, the ancient rocks face each storm with strength and fortitude. They are strong beyond measure. When the waves are gentle, they stand strong, and when the great storm arrives, they remain strong. They never falter. This card signifies that an enduring, everlasting, passionate courage in the depth of your being is arising. There is nothing you can't confront and face. You are a warrior of light. The sacred landscape wants you to know. Step forward. Throw your shoulders back and stand up for yourself with passion. Speak up for those less fortunate. Be impeccable in all your actions. This isn't the time to be timid and pull back. Don't be limited by the beliefs of others. Use your passion to make a difference. Courage doesn't mean that you aren't afraid. Fearless means fear less. Acknowledge your fear and take action anyway. Make a stand. You are strong and powerful and have great valor within you. This is something about bearing the fruit of standing up for yourself. I think there could be a circumstance where you didn't stand up for yourself previously. And maybe there was some sadness and regret about it. But the divine is bringing a similar circumstance around. And you might wonder why you keep uh, bringing these, these type of things your way or they keep happening it's because we need to have the courage to bear the appropriate fruit what's the appropriate fruit is it to be able to heal look at that I can't even look at that not seeing the positive in this circumstance with it coming around again a similar circumstance the next card we have is the truth the ace of swords a challenging beginning it's going to be challenging to change the, to break the cycle. There's a cycle here that needs to be broken. Yeah, there is. This is a five and this is a five. So this is a massive change for you. And I also want to say a challenge. It could be bringing about arguments and fighting, or perhaps there's been a lot of that. Something coming in that needs immediate action taken. It's like a, it's like communication coming in that needs immediate, an immediate response or a very timely response. But it's about, it's about um, taking a moment to stop and to think nonetheless, just because someone's in a hurry. It is going to require courage from you to handle the communication coming in. Uh, but it, this is all to help you break a cycle. Whoever's coming in here, they might appear as, I want to say, whimsical, immature, maybe kind of like uh, someone with always has the bright ideas. I wonder if it's going to take courage to actually listen to this person. Just like the rocks on the ocean receive the water and they don't move, does it take courage to receive what this person is saying? This communication that's coming in. The Ace of Swords, a challenging beginning, bearing fruit. Now, as we move forward and we come back around to certain things, maybe we wonder why it is that we can't change the outcome. Why, Like I said, why does this have to keep happening? But with this sword here, it's like you're cutting out 
the, the poison. It's like you're cutting out all of the pain. You're cutting out whichever. I wonder if there's something that you thought would work and would make people happy, but you're starting to see that it's, it didn't and or it didn't even make you happy perhaps you're starting to see that the unhappiness you felt was in a different level or or from something different but projected onto something else perhaps that's why it's coming back around it's almost like there's a whole lot of love in this place you have been but it's like i'm not turning around to go back to this I would rather deal with my cups being spilt over and go wade through a river and head off to the new. Someone can look at this as the new, the castle as the new, and hopping over this bridge and heading to the High Vibe Castle. But what if you've already been at the High Vibe Castle and what if that was sour, more sour than you expected it to be? It's a good question. So I believe this is like a decision point. They're going to be using a truth. The divine's handing you something that is going to take strength in order to get through in April. I'm going to do a extended reading on this. We'll pull a message from Spirit and Clarifiers. Okay. I hope to see you there. If not, blessings and have a beautiful spring.